What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, got a pretty sweet install for you guys today. I'm going to be installing a RS style grill on my Audi S5. It's a pretty easy install. I'll walk you guys through the whole thing and it definitely cleans the car up a whole lot. Um, definitely makes it look a lot more modern and a lot more aggressive. So it's kind of what we're going for. Should be super easy. So without further ado, let's get to it guys. Alright guys, before we can get this new beautiful grill installed, we obviously have to take the old one off. So, let's get to work on that. I'm gonna stop labbing. Let's get to it. Alright guys, once you got the car jacked up, um, we can start working on we can start working on everything up top so there's gonna be there's gonna be four clips up top here so you got this guy this one this one and this one these are super easy to pull out I'll show you guys that in a sec and then there's two more underneath this tray and then everything else is underneath so let's get going so to pop these guys out, um, you know, just get like a screwdriver or a pick or something and you just want to push that middle part down, right? And then you can just, then you can just lift these guys up. Like so. Pretty easy. Do that with the rest of them and then we got two more under here. Alright guys, lifting this tray out was easy. Um, once you get all four of those clips off, you just kind of pull it up towards yourself and then you can pull it out like away. Um, now once you get that off, um, we got one screw here and then another screw right here. Those two, um, that's all we have to do up top for now and then we're going to have to go underneath and undo some of the bumper screws. All right, once you get these two guys out, um, we can't do anything else up here for now. Um, we're gonna have to take this little sensor here off, but can't really reach it until you, um, until you actually get the bumper undone. So next we're gonna have to go underneath. There's, I think there's like six or eight screws under there. Um, take those off. And then there's two 10 mils on each side that we'll have to take off, but we're getting there. All right guys, all the, um, all the screws under the car, they're all a Torx T15, so make sure you have that. Yeah, I believe there's eight of them total. Alright guys, once you get your, um, your eight screws out, so you got two on each side of the bumper and then four across the middle. Um, now we got to... Um, Pop both front wheels off and then we got to get behind that splash guard there and there's there's two 10 mils on each side once you get those off the bumpers off so um, almost there guys pretty easy so far there's literally been four clips and like 10 screws so um, definitely a very easy project a lot of you guys might think it's intimidating because you have to actually pop the bumper off I was the same way at first I was really sketched out especially especially on an Audi but it's really actually incredibly simple so like I said 10 screws and four clips and we're basically almost done so um yeah let's get this bumper off and then we can uh, start worrying about the grill all right guys now that we have our wheel off um 
we need to get behind this splash guard. So we need to take out these two clips and then there's three screws along the bottom and then there's another one. There's another one on the inside here. So um, once we take those guys out, we can get back there. There's uh, two 10 mils and then we're done on this side. For these clips, um, same thing, go ahead and get a pick or something and just kind of get behind them and lift up. And um, yeah, they come right out. And then these guys in the bottom, it looks like they're uh, Torx T15 or T20. So um, same thing there, pull those guys out and then we're good. All right guys, once you got everything removed, um, again, these, these screws on the bottom, they were Torx T20. So far we've needed a T15, T20, and T25. So um, yeah, once you get those all out, you can get behind here. You can peel this up like so. And we're in. Once you get behind this splash guard, there's gonna be two 10 mils, those guys right there. Um, you can't really miss them, they're kinda of just chilling right on that like aluminum plate or something. Um, once we get those guys off, um, beat the process on the other side, and then, um, yeah, then the bumper's off. So let's get these out, let's do the same thing on the other side, and then um, we'll get to the grill. All right, once those two are out, um, you can, you can go ahead and pop your bumper out here. Um, and now, while we're over here, um, you're gonna go ahead and unplug your fog light. Um, so just, there's a clip right here. Just unplug that guy. And then yeah, same exact process on the other side. Um, once you get that done, we're gonna pull the bumper off and then um, the grill's super easy to swap out and then we'll just throw it back in. All right guys, um, once you've completed the same process on the right side, um, you did everything over here, um, pop that side out, and then pop this side out, and then basically, you're just gonna kinda pull out, and you can watch it here, if you watch that clip, you can see it slide out from under it. So do the same thing on this side, and then, um, yeah, the bumper will come right off. Um, I'm gonna put you guys down for a sec, cause we are gonna have to detach this guy here. Um, looks like it might just clip in. Not quite sure, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna set you guys down, figure that out, and um, yeah, we're basically done. All right, so this little, all right, so this little sensor behind here, or whatever it is, um, it's actually pretty easy to take off. You're gonna wanna kinda pop the bumper out as far as you can, so you can get back in there, and um, you see this clip here? Kind of just pull it away while picking this up. And this thing, um, this guy should come right out. There we go. Um, yeah, it just kind of, it was kind of hard to do with one hand there, but um, once you get two hands on it, she comes right off. It just looks like uh, some sort of crash sensor. Okay, so um, now we gotta start working on getting this grill off. Um, First, we got to get rid of this little styrofoam crash bar thingy. Um, so there's two clips on it, one on each side. Um, you can actually just get underneath it and kind of just lift it up and it pops right out. Um, same thing on this side. Once you get this guy off. Now, I don't believe we'll be reusing that styrofoam thing. Um, I might be wrong, but when I did my A4 over there, um, we didn't, we didn't use it. So, um, might be different on this car, but we'll see. Um, now, you got your torque screws. You got, looks like you got about, I don't know. There's probably close to 15. Um, they're all the way around the whole border of the, the grill. And then there's some clips, but it should just pop right out. So, um, let's get all those guys out and, um, yeah, we'll get the new grill in. All right guys, after we get all these screws out, um, next thing is, is we need to unclip all of these clips all the way around. Um, there's a bunch along the bottom here, just these guys. Um, it is kind of a pain in the butt. It's easier if you have one of these picks. You can kind of just like, you can just push it down and then um, push it down with your hand. So it's much easier that way. Um, 
one by one you're gonna have to go down the line getting all these guys definitely a pain in the butt but it'll be worth it and then up top here we got even more clips um, looks like there's three on each side and then there's there's even more in the front so there's a whole lot of clips holding this thing in place but um, once we get all those popped out the new one will just pop right in and then um, yeah put it back together and we're done okay guys this thing has been giving me a hell of a time um, I finally realized why um, there's two screws hidden in these holes here there's one one down there one down there um, I didn't see them at first but once we take those out the grill should pop off a lot easier. Um, we'll be able to swap it out and then we're good to go. I was really struggling with that grill a bunch in the beginning um, until I realized those two screws in the Audi sign. Um, they were kind of tucked away so I couldn't really see them but once I got those off the grill popped right out and it wasn't bad at all. So um, let's get this new grill in, get the bumper on the car, and then yeah, we're in business, guys. Before I put the bumper on, I'm gonna paint this uh, this crash bar quick because that's gonna show through a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna paint it black quick and then, um, and then we'll get back to it. All right, guys, crash bar has been painted. Um, I didn't do the ends because I got lazy and it doesn't really matter. You're only really gonna see from like here to here. So um, that's all right. Um, you don't have to do this, but um, just as a point of reference, this is kind of what you're going to get when you don't paint it. So there's an example of a non-painted. Then if we come over here to our surplus of Audis, this is what it looks like when it is painted. So you can't really, you can really can't really see that one so um definitely a much cleaner look so um yes now that we have her painted um we're gonna throw our new grill in um and then get the bumper on the car and we'll be good to go all right guys new grill is on the bumper looking insane already um it's not a perfect 100 percent fit um but it definitely fits well enough the only problem is like is this other like kind of secondary grill thing they have here it kind of gets in the way of this grill but um it fits everything worked out um i'm gonna button everything back up and then um we'll get some cool edits That's going to be all for today. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed the vid, please drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.